Musical Chords channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to play CC with the Lucana version on ukulele. Alright, let's start our tutorial. As you can see, my ukulele have a K4 on the third fret. Why I'm using the K4? I'm using the K4 so that it will raise the pitch of my ukulele. It allows me also to play in different keys without all the hassle of using the tuning pegs to tune my ukulele to a higher key or transposing the chords. That is why I'm using the K4. We have to make sure that our ukulele is in good tune to G, C, E. Our CC with song needs three chords and this will be G major, C major, and D major. I will teach you how to play G major. G major look like this. G can see on the second fret and the third fret. And we will use three fingers, and that will be our second finger, third finger, and the fourth finger. Our second finger is going to touch the third string on the second fret. And our third finger is going to touch the first string on the second fret. And our fourth finger is going to touch the second string on the third fret. And that will be G major. Now let's go to C. C major loop like this. C can C on the third fret. One, two, three. And we will use one finger and that will be our fourth finger. Our fourth finger is going to touch the first string on the third fret and that will be C. Now let's go to D. D loop like this. D can C on the second fret, and we will use three fingers, and that will be our second finger, third finger, and the fourth finger. Our second finger is going to touch the fourth string on the second fret, and the third finger is going to touch the third string on the second fret. And our fourth finger is going to touch the second string on the second fret. And this will be D major. Now let's go to our strumming pattern. For the strumming pattern for the G major and the C major, we have the same pattern. And the D have different one. So let's go to G major and the C major strumming pattern. For the G and C strumming pattern, we have to touch the third string once. And then we go down and up by touching the second string and the first string together. Okay, let's make it fast a little bit. Touch the third string once. And then we go down and up by touching the second string and the first string together. Down and up, down and up. The same thing with C. Let's start to C. the G major and the C major. Now let's go to the strumming pattern for the D major. The strumming pattern for the D major look like this. I touch the fourth string once and then I go down and up by touching the third string, second string, and the fourth string together. Okay, let, let's make it fast. So that will 
be the strumming pattern for the D major chord. Let's go to our introduction. Our introduction will be like this. I will teach you how to apply the chords to our verse 1 and 2. Our verse 1 and verse 2 chords pattern are the same. So the chords pattern for our verses will be G, C, and G. That it will be the first line. For the second line will be D and G. For the third line will be G, C, and G. And G. For the fourth line will be D and G. So that will be the chords pattern for the verse 1 and verse 2. Let's apply the chords. That will be G. pattern for our chorus. The chords pattern for our chorus will be C and G for the first line. For the second line will be D and G. For the third line will be C and G. Then the fourth line will be D and G. Let's apply the chords to our chorus. <laughs> to our song Sisiwi. Oh, 
first two. Thank you so much.